Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you haven't been here before. So I am going to show you a haul of things I have bought to put on my eBay store in order to make some profit. Um, there are a few different bits here today. Little bit of toys, little bit of shoes, little bit of clothing. Um, it's all from my own shop. So if you like the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up, popping your finger or cursor over the subscribe button and clicking it, obviously. <laughs> and hitting the bell for regular notifications. And if you'd like to support me further, my Buy Me A Coffee link is in the description and I will give anyone a shout out who does that. And super thanks too, of course. So, I can't wait to show you what I got. Let's get into it. So I've got a few things here. I'm going to show you what I've picked up first and also show you a few things that my best friend Lisa has got for me on her travels. I obviously pay her for these things. I'm not making her buy stuff for my business, but very grateful, Lise. Thank you. Um, I'm going to show you what she brought me as well. Um, so, right. So the first thing I'm going to show you, let's go dive right in. Um, this was 5 50 and it is a brand I don't normally buy anymore, but I really like this dress. It's a cursed dress. I used to get cursed all the time. Um, size 14. And I always laugh because on the subtitles, if you've got subtitles up, it says, I'm saying cursed, as in I will curse you for that. Um, but I'm saying cursed, as in go to the cursed on holiday. <laughs> it always says I'm saying it wrong. It's a lovely electric blue dress with this lovely detailing around the oh, empire waist it's like a pencil dress it's lovely really lovely color it's got a bit of stretch to it which we like don't we ladies um it's got a back zip fastening really nice i'm gonna try what have i paid for that 550 i am gonna put that on for 25 and also put on best offer I know I've had a few sarky comments lately about my uh, pricing, but at the end of the day, if you don't ask, you don't get. If you sell everything dirt cheap, that's what it'll go for. If you try messing with your prices, sometimes things sell really quickly at the price you want. Sometimes you get a decent offer. Doesn't matter as long as you're making profit. Um, so that's what works for me. I start high, I bring it down after a while, and I also put best offer on. So there we go, we've got 550 on this one. I've probably said this before, but <laughs> I always think, have I sold this brand before? I've sold so many things. I'm just like, you forget, don't you? But I don't think I've found, how do you say this? Is it Bieber? Bieber? It's Bieber? It's not Bieber, is it? Anyway, it's a size small maxi dress and it's lovely. It's like really nice, like textured, um colourful stripes um it's straight it's long and straight down and it's got like splits at the side at the bottom it's really lovely um i don't know what i'm doing price wise on this yet i think for the purpose of the video i'm gonna say 35 to 40 but i think this might go for a little bit more I think this brand is pretty good. Let me know in the comments what you think. Right, okay. I bought this for myself, but I think I'm probably going to end up selling it because <laughs> without being too rude to myself, I'm on a diet at the minute and I put it on and it feels a little snug. But I think if I do lose the weight, it might be okay, but I might get impatient and just sell it anyway. Because as we know, at the moment for me, for leather jackets go really well so this was 550 sorry if that's a bit blurry there we go this is only a boohoo jacket that's all it is boohoo size large but it's fur leather and it's really nice it's like biker style it's got the zip um cuffs 
zip cuffs the zip up the front i really like it it's really nice and um, but yeah you see i could get 18 to 20 pound on that we'll see if the comps aren't great it may just stay with me if the comps are around 18 then it may go because it'll go quick Faux leather jackets are selling real good for me at the minute. Even if I get 15 for it, I know my profit isn't brilliant, but if it goes quick, that's okay. We can cope with that. So we'll see. I'm going to leave that to last because it's cool. So you have to wait till last to see the thing I've got down here. Right, so one of the charity shops we go to, um, I call it our honey hole because the guy that runs it is great and he gives us a discount the more things we buy the better price we get and he said to me when we went in there the other day when we bought all this stuff um i've got some of these things upstairs i'm not gonna tell you what they are till i show you uh, would you like to have a look at them because he said i think i'm gonna get rid of them because i don't think they're gonna sell in here so i said oh, okay i said yeah sure i'll have a look anyway i bought them all two pound each um, so he got money for the charity, really happy. Something he was going to just sling out. Um, and by sling out, I mean, I think he was going to give it to the rag man or whatever. But I was just like, wow, why would you do that? But I think he's thinking this time of year, these probably aren't going to sell. Um, but I disagree. I think they will. So the first one I've got, these were £2 each. They're all from the same person as well. This is a only... My favourite wardrobe, extra small, fur fair jacket. Well, coat this is actually, it's a fur fair coat. It's really nice, it's got the panels. Um, It's like a beigey colour. It's like kind of like the teddy bear coats that were in fashion. Um, It does, no it doesn't, I thought it had a mark on it, it doesn't, it's just, it was just the movement in the fair. Look how lovely that is. Now, these aren't big money none of these are great brands but i'm thinking 12 to 15 each on these um and it's a winner this one maybe not so much because it's small this was two pound as well it's denim and co or denim co size 12 and it's just a little fur fair gilet um i mean it'll probably be five to ten on that but the overall amount i'm gonna get for all of it i'm not too bothered that was the only one and i thought I can't leave it on its own <laughs> too sentimental then i got a red heron gilet can you see that size 12 this is really nice it's like a it's got like checkered paneling with the nice um lining um stretchy bit around the bottom as well this is lovely again i think 12 to 15 on that and that was two pound um yeah this one is a peruna and that is a size small and again for fair this is a little gray one it's got a lovely pattern to it you see that it's beautiful maybe a little higher on that one maybe nearer to 20 um and then there's this one this is a dorothy perkins one size 10 this is bigger and it's black so it's a coat but again i think 10 to 12 on that maybe 15 if i'm lucky you never know then i got these two as well these were two pound each these were amazing now this needs a wash because it does have some marks on the sleeve unfortunately but i think they might come out but i really like this it's an adidas fleece where's the adidas sign there it is look at that there's the tags inside it is a size uk 10 and it's white <laughs> um yeah really nice I really don't know how much to put on this. All depends on whether I get that stain out of the cuff. If I don't get the stain out of the cuff, it's probably going to be 10 to 15. If I do get the stain out of the cuff, maybe 20 to 30. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. The zip's working nicely anyway. I've already tested that. I'll do it again, look. <laughs> All good. But yeah, that needs to go in the wash. So hopefully 
that will all be nice and clean. I'm hoping that somebody has been filthy and they've not washed it before they've given it to charity and that's why it's like that, hopefully. That's best case scenario in reseller world. <laughs> it is though, isn't it? Come on. Right, this is cool. So this was £2 as well. Jigsaw, size medium, coat. Like a jersey coat. How nice is that? It's got a zigzaggy type pattern all over it. Collared. It's a midi coat, mid coat. So it's just like mid-length coat, just above the knee, I'd say. I tried it on, loved it. Was told I can't keep it. But that'll be a good seller. I'm hoping to get 30 for it. Maybe some more. I might even aim for 40. We'll see. We'll see. Right, so... Crap all over the bed. Where has all that come from? You know, sorry about my language. I can't stand crumbs and bits of dirt. Anyway, right, shoes. These, I bought these. £4.50. They are vintage Renata made in Italy shoes. Look at these. Look at these. Look at the shimmer on those bad boys. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I've got this lovely vintage heel. They are pretty worn, pretty beat up underneath, but I still think I can get £15 for these just on the style. And people can get this bit redone. The heels are pretty good, so I don't think they need redoing, but you can get a bit of leather put on there, can't you, or whatever it is. You can so tell I don't deal with shoes. <laughs> But yeah, that, I like those. I think they're really nice. Right, before I show you the best thing, I'm going to show you what Lisa got me first. So again, thank you, my darling. Look at this. A little rocking chair. This was £2. And yeah, it's a dark wood rocking chair for either a doll or a teddy. I would imagine a teddy would sit in this. I think it's lovely. I don't know how much these are worth, but I'm hoping to get 15 for it. What do you think? It's vintage. Very nice. Love that. Then we have, I'm buying these a lot at the minute, and I haven't sold one yet. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I'll probably end up with a load of freaky dolls in my house. £3 for this beauty. There she is, look. She looks a bit like Pat Butcher. Ricky. I know that's Bianca, but I think she did say Ricky. She was his stepmom for a bit, wasn't she? Um, but yeah, look at her. Look at her hair. Look at her outfit. She's fabulous. Look at her feet. And I think all her fingers are there, unlike some dolls I can mention that are still in my shop. But yeah, she is wonderful. Three pounds. I do love an old doll. Um, I don't think she's got any markings on her. Her knickers are a bit salmon cowl. Oh dear, they are. They're very salmon cowl. Um, yeah, there's no stamping on her at all. So I don't know. I'm going to hopefully aim. You see, I keep overpricing these and I think I do it on purpose because I want to keep them. <laughs> she's beautiful. Look at her. Let's see if her eyes shut. Oh, yes, they do. Look, she goes to sleep. How many of you are freaked out by this? I have to hide these from my 17-year-old daughter. She does not like dolls of any form. Um, So when I buy stuff like this, I hide it. And I'm not cruel and I don't, I don't hide it somewhere where she'll find it accidentally. <laughs> Pop up at the end of her bed. <laughs> I'm so mean. I think she's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to aim for 30. I don't know whether I'm overpricing them or not because I think they're a niche, aren't they? They're a niche thing. I think you, you're going to get collectors, but you're going to get people that buy them because they had them when they were a kid and they want them for their child. I've done that with my kids. So I don't know. This is exciting. This isn't the last thing, by the way. Um, This was £2. And it is a Millennium Bear... I've already done the comps on this and you won't believe it. Hello. <laughs> Two pounds. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's got his full outfit. 
he's poseable which is always cool um let's have a look let's throw a year on him no he says he's been imported from austria um yeah so he was two pounds as you can see massive two pound there this bear is listed i think it's anywhere between 50 and 70 pound because it's a collectible bear but again these sort of things amazing to find for that price and amazing to find when you look at the comps and see how much they go for but not many have sold because they're quite niche again there aren't many around and also it's going to be a collector that buys this um so we'll see we'll see what happens he will stick around he will stick around i've got a bear over there vintage bear that will stick around but the right person will find them and the right person will pay the right price there's his foot look millennium 2000 collection he is lovely he is a burler but he is a burler that will not fly out of your shop really fast but definitely worth picking up especially for two pound right i'm going to show you my favorite thing now so we saw this in the charity shop and i was like wasn't sure that it was real or not. Anyway, we did some research while we were in there and found the same one on Etsy. Vintage. Didn't realise it was vintage. Um, selling for £60. Um, and another one as well. So there was only two that we found, but this is it's great. Christian Dior Vanity Case. This was £4.50 it's got the stamped zips it is in excellent condition till i get my hands on it no i'm joking i am going to be fine with this the zip is in amazing working order which we really like let's have a look there we go there you are look there you are <laughs> so that's what it's like inside all lovely and clean it's beautiful yeah, so four fifty into potentially sixty pound. I know on Etsy things are a little bit more profitable, but I'm still going to try for that on eBay and see what happens. I'm tempted to auction it, but we know how I don't like auctions, so we'll see. It all depends on how I feel. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments. Would you have bought these things? What do you think about what I've got? Um. Wish me luck on getting that stain out of the Adidas. Fingers crossed for that. And yeah, let me know how your sales are going. Let me know the best thing you've picked up lately. Let me know the best item you have found at the charity shop so far since you've started reselling. Or even as a buyer, something that you found that's mega expensive that you couldn't believe it. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell for regular notifications. If you'd like to support me further, you know where the Buy Me A Coffee link is now. It's in the description. There's also a super thanks. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Love you and see you on the next one. Ta-ta!